All right, all right, all right. Let's start talking about some of the coursework that you need to do. And let's specifically talk about how you take notes. So in this first video, it's kind of obvious, right? And actually, what I would say is start with the video before this one, <laughs> okay? So I wanna see notes from the welcome, so I'll show you how to do that. And then you'll also have a new heading for this one called About 82. So this will entail really your first uh, lecture, okay? So let's turn to the course and take a look at what I mean. So in here, right, so I now, and, and by the way, let me say this. I just created my uh, user account here um, in Canvas. So make sure you click here to the click here to get started. Because when you do that, uh, then it works to, it'll say when you'll take you to the course and say, hey, you've received an invite. So just make sure when you do this process, you very carefully step through the steps uh, and read the screen for what you need, okay? So this is what the, the messages will look like. Actually, the first message I sent, I forgot to put the name, and for some reason it was asking me for a code, so hopefully by the time you get this, should be good to go. All right, so let me come back to the course. So this is the course, that's the welcome video that I gave you, okay? So what we're working on here, and we'll just scroll down because there's two ways to look at this. We can look at grades or calendar. Well, and I'm gonna figure out a way, and so that's the other thing, and just to remind you and I about this, is that we are doing this at the same time learning, right? So we're gonna learn this together because this is a new operating, new environment, not operating system, this is a new environment uh, our campus is just getting used to it. I just set this up today. <laughs> so, you know, but that's part of kind of the nature of the web is that once you know how to use software, picking up new software, new websites, new things, it's pretty easy as long as you got the fundamentals. And that's really part of what we hope to give you here is those fundamentals. Okay. So here is the course calendar, right? So again, how I got there is that when you go into the course, you see the syllabus, and again, this will probably change as, as we move into the course. You hit calendar if you want. Um, you can see the items by date here, right? So you can see this is about the 82, and then it'll just take you right to the item, I believe. Yeah, so there we go, right? So we're going to submit assignment. Cool. So what are you submitting here, right? So what you're going to do in this case is I don't really want you to type the information in here, okay? Uh, what I want you to do is actually use a Google Doc because that's, and I think there's a way in the system once I learn more about it to actually integrate Google Docs directly. But for today, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way, okay? So let me show you here. So once you, and by the way, remember I said you had to have a Google account, right? So in, in my account, in Gmail, you have Drive. So in Drive, you can come in here, and I recommend, I have all kinds of documents. I would recommend creating folders. I really wish I would have started it earlier. Look how many I have. So I'm gonna do new, and I'm gonna do document, right? So here's what you'll have. You'll have, um, you'll have in this case, about CIT, oh, actually here, let's do it this way. Welcome to CIT 82, right? Let me blow this up. <laughs> You know, like the you like the audio on that? Okay, 82, go s select it, do a title, right? So that's your, right? And then notes here. So what kind of information, right? So the basic, you know, high level stuff I covered, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need, you know, so cover those things in here in your notes, right? So now uh, you'll also do about CIT 82. Right, so that, so in this case, maybe, you know, and I'll let, I'm not going to hard require the, because this is maybe a heading one, this is also a heading one, and then we'll have some more notes here, okay? So then once you're done with this, name it, right? So I want you to name it, um, and in this case, it saves it as a default untitled, so I'm going to call it uh, Notes for CIT 82. And the reason I say that is this will be your notes for all of the lectures. That way, when you're done with this class, you will have one document with all the lecture information that you can refer back to, okay? So now, in here, I'm gonna hit share, okay? Now, here's the key. Making it shareable would not be what we wanna do, because shareable would uh, uh, share it with everyone. What you wanna do is really just share it with me. So you wanna Rio Waller at Gmail, right? Cool, and then you would send it to me here are my notes, right? Send. 
Now, what's that? what that will give you is actually a uh, link, or it gives me. Actually, let me show you what it gives me, and you get the same thing, is it'll give me a notice here, right? So notice, though, when it gives that to you, you'll get that as well. This is actually just a link, right? So if you go into the document itself, up here at the top is just the URL. So you can copy that, come over to your, uh, here it is. So you say, my notes here something like that get get creative have fun with this and then give me a link right you'll paste that URL insert the link cool so it just inserted the link so for this first time that's all you got to do you just have to take your notes right so you'll take your notes on both the welcome video and the about 82 right <laughs> 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 it's okay. Todd's here. Some of you may know of Todd because I think some of you took his 82, 85. Some of you are taking this in reverse, but that's okay. We can talk about all that stuff later. Okay, so for this first assignment, really it's about just getting you used to, you know, and getting me used to, quite frankly, how to submit stuff in here, right? So in this case, we've given the link here. You just hit submit. Oh, sorry. You weren't seeing the screen. You were seeing me. So there we go. So the first assignment was submitted. You can go to grades. Right? And look at here. Oh, see, this is great. So this is this. This is. So then I would go in here um, actually and score it. Wow, I wonder why it's showing you you can score it. I'd figure that out. Anyway, so that is the first assignment that you need to do is this assignment here. So if you want to look ahead, right? So if you want to look ahead at what we else we have to do, you can either go to that calendar again, go to the calendar. Inside the calendar, you can see that we just completed, right? So, oh, look at that. It actually even, that's awesome. Can you see that? What it did is it lined out showing you you had already completed that assignment. So not only does it give you a calendar, right? It also shows you if you completed the item. I'm loving the system. It works really great. You can also do your own calendar. You can do calendar feeds here. Again, take notes on this stuff, right? So let's see what else there is. Well, I can just a few more minutes as we finish up this. Um, so what kind of other stuff are we going to do, right? So we are going to learn. You are going to learn. And we are going to learn together because the truth is that's how we learn. We learn together. So we're going to, you're going to learn some how the web works. You're going to learn how web design and web development are different. You're going to learn how GitHub works. And I'm going to have you actually do some GitHub pushes and pulls and and repositories and stuff like that because that's a, a critical part of what you have to do even if you don't become a full web developer which by the way I know you can but if you're just here to gain more information uh, github is one of the things as a developer you just have to know how to use you're gonna learn build tools as a matter of fact I still I don't have it all published yet so let me just show you kind of my thinking so far about some of the courses from Linda I'm gonna include right I uh, got the GitHub up and running. We got two weeks with web design up and running with GitHub. HTML essentials. I may really look somewhere else for this. We'll see. Uh, CEO, search engine optimization, fundamentals, payment systems, up and running with Sublime. So important to know how to be productive with an editor these days. And then four weeks of fundamentals with programming, right? So no matter what you do, if you're going to be a developer, you got to learn how to code. So this is really that fun, you know, introduction to here's some fundamental concepts, okay? So again, this should all go in your notes, right? So just coming back to the notes before we end up here is that the notes, right once you share them you share them only with me right you share them only with me right I'm sharing them with myself which is kind of weird but in that case you share them with me you will get uh, a list uh, an email as well but ultimately what you can do and I think you can even do it here let me see this you can actually just copy up here because that's the URL once you've shared it with me I should be able to just link on that so you don't have to necessarily go into your email you can just get that URL but the key to that is you have to have shared it with me now there'll be items later that we'll probably share with everyone but for this first First item we will uh, share just with me and this is really the item that I'm talking about which is your week um, about this class Let's, what's the name of this item <laughs> if I don't remember I go down here and I go about CIT 82 so you have two other items due and they will be due so this item is due the Thursday of the first week there's two more items so this is on Monday night you always have two discussions one is a hands-on discussion the second one is a current topic 
So in this case, I've given you a video. So actually, I think I may have just one more video later to talk about what you have to do for these two items. All right? Otherwise, I think you're good to go. Hopefully, this gives you a little more information. Again, ask questions. I think you're going to want to do is get on the uh, chat. So, you know, by, by getting on and sharing your emails with me, you don't have to get on chat. I can't force you to. I don't, I don't really want to. Hopefully you want to because that gives you access to not just me but the other folks in this class to ask and answer questions, right? So you need a Gmail account, and then what I will do is set up a chat. I've done this for other semesters in other classes, and it's worked really great uh, for students to get a hopefully a quicker answer uh, to their questions. And that's an important part of taking an online class is when you get stuck, get help, right? Don't If you spend a lot of time, you're not probably being effective because you could probably ask somebody and get a quicker answer. Sometimes though, and I know I do this too, sometimes I just have to toil in it for a little bit and I'll eventually figure out, and that's okay too, but just know that don't waste your time too much when there's people that can help you. All right, I think I've said enough for now. Let's see if I can give you an exit screen.